Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com and we're now on part six of our tutorial on how to create a character with Anime Studio and today we're going to learn how to give the face that we've already created some shape. Remember that if you don't have this character already or this file you can go on uh, CartoonLearning.com, sign up for the newsletter and you'll receive a link that gives you access to this and you can download this exact file so you can just follow along at home. All right, the first thing you need to do is come over here and click on your face layer. Make sure that it's highlighted so we can adjust these points. Uh, then click your Select Points tool. And we're going to select these top two points. Now, most people don't know how to properly use the Curvature tool, but go ahead and select it. And this is the tool that makes the difference between Anime Studio and other programs. Other programs that do vectors do this a little bit differently. but. Um, so basically we have two points highlighted right now and they're two points in the middle of four points, right? We have these two other points that aren't selected. This tool is going to adjust the amount of sharpness in our curve between, uh, like right now if we selected just this one point, it would be between this point and the point on the other side. So. Um, this is kind of how this tool works. It's a little bit different, but we've got two points selected. If we then go up here and click the V shape, it's going to keep them like they are because that's how we created them. But it's going to make sure that they are sharp in between the other two points. If we click the rounded shape, it's going to change the curvature of them. Here's a real quick example to show you what I mean. I'll grab the Add Points tool. And I'll just make three points in a line. Now if we select this point in the middle and we change this to V and we grab this, you can see how it's going to hold a boxy shape. It's going to stay with a very sharp corner as I move it in the middle of these. But if I change it to curvy and adjust it, it's going to keep a curvy shape. Now you can try doing this if you use your uh, add a square tool. You can try doing this at home, add a square and then change it to curvy. All right, now let's just get rid of this. Boom, boom. All right, next step, use your select points tool and select all of these lower points. If you didn't already pick up on this, whatever points are selected, this is kind of your shortcut. You grab your curvature tool and click the curvy thing and you're going to adjust them the way they need to go. Now the curvature tool also works by grabbing individual points. Oh, we'll switch to translate, select one point and uh, the curvature tool. You grab a point, click on it, and if you drag it to the right it will become more curvy. Drag it to the left it becomes less curvy. But uh, we're going to adjust these just to give our face the right shape that we're looking for. We kind of got a stand-looking face from American Dad right now. That'll be fine for now. Now the big thing to remember is you can adjust these points all you want down here and the two up on top. But leave this point, this point, oops, this one, and this one with the sharp corners because that's going to come into play later when we set up our head turn. All right, I don't know what we'll cover in the next tutorial, uh, but like I said, you can go to cartoonlearning.com and sign up for the newsletter, and you'll have access to the file that we started with today, and you can go ahead and do this on your own and, and see exactly how it works. All right, see you in the next one.